Mm -mm. They say that this is a big, rich town. I just come from the poorest part. Bright light city, <laughs> city life. I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. I just happen to come apart. Legal or legal, baby. I got to make it. Hey, everybody. Yeah, um, I got on my black and my hat, my incognito hat, like ghost name were tonight. So now we are here for the third season of Power. Yes. Can't get enough of my frat. Mm, Omari Hardwick, that is one fine man. Even if he did marry that woman and didn't tell us for three years. And had kids. I said, talk about being on the low. But anyway, third season has started off and Ghost now says, call me Mr. Tibbs. No, actually, he says, just call me James. Ghost esta muleta. Ghost esta muleta. Ghost is dead. At least in his mind, he is. But everybody else, as far as they concerned, go Julio. And everybody else from the streets like, where is Ghost? Because Tommy ass don't know what the hell he doing, okay? So, if you remember last season, uh, we closed out with what we thought would be the end of the dope game and the street life for uh, James Ghost St. Patrick and also the beginning of his bliss with his boo from high school, the girl from around the way, Angela, who is now a um, U.S. Attorney General, uh, U.S. Assistant Attorney General, excuse me. I'm sure she's ambitious enough to want that as well. Um, so anyways, what happened is that, you know, his marriage is now over uh, with the woman who has been his ride or die and mother of his children. Um, I, I forgot what her name is, but it's Naturally Naughton is her real name. I don't know why I can't remember folks' names. Um, and then uh, Sean who had been his right-hand man, who he took under his wing, who was Kanan, 50 Cent's character's son, was murdered at the hand of his father. Because his father felt as though his son wasn't loyal to him, but to Ghost, and to Ghost who had, who had betrayed him and caused him to spend those 10 years in prison. But mainly now, if we pay attention to the storyline, we now know why Ghost and Tommy would even turn on Kanan. Because he's grimy, and he is not about the business. He's just about getting money any type of way at the risk of everyone else's life. So, um, it's just, it's going to be interesting because at the end of last season... Ghost assumed that, number one, he had killed Kanan. But if you watch, uh, when the investigators were coming to see why was the building burned up, um, Kanan was still alive, which they didn't show him this episode, but I have a feeling he's in some sort of rehab burn unit, secretly healing to plot his next revenge and next move on the likes of Ghost. We also have Lobos, who was the supplier for Ghost, and Ghost was the distributor uh, for Lobos. Well, Ghost had somebody pay him a visit while he's locked up in federal custody and thought that he was dead, but not. Also, Ghost Office was paid a visit. As you know, Ghost's signature thing to do is to drop some sort of tarot card on people that he kills. Um, and some girl showed up and shit left it in his office at the club. We also know that James also was able to get back his club. As a matter of fact, I think he now has three. Courtesy of the dude that screwed him over in the first place, uh, now ex-wife. Because she was like, I'm sick of this shit. You and these damn um, voyeur, menage a trois, swinger parties. I'm over this shit. I gotta go. Um, so I'm gonna hook your... Um, yo, uh, your enemy up with the clubs that you once had. So she gave him the ghost, I guess. And so that's all that James wants to do. James is essentially, James St. Patrick is essentially the epitome of Michael Corleone. Every time they try to get out, they pull me back in. I just want out. I just want a normal life. 
ain't no normal life. The street life is all you know. And unfortunately, your friends don't share that mentality. Rotimi's character on there, if you remember him, from Boss fame with uh, Kelsey Grammer. When Kelsey Grammer played the, played the corrupt mayor of Chicago, he's on there. And he told Ghost that he wanted to be like him. Well, come to find out, he just wants to look legit, but not go legit. You can pull the hood rat out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of him. You pull him out the hood, but can't take the game out of him. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, it looks like Ghost has his work cut out dealing with him. Uh, Tommy and Holly are now back together. Tommy is mad at Ghost because Ghost sent Holly away. What he doesn't realize is that Holly is a bad seed. Holly has put whipped something on him so good until he can't even think straight. She told me, that's why you're better than Ghost. You're smarter than Ghost. I'm like, no, you're going to end up dead and become a ghost like Casper. Because you don't know what you're doing. When you and Ghost were working together, Tommy, you two were freaking frack, brains, and muscle. You the muscle, he the brain. Now you got Julio who's just confused about what the hell is going on. Because see, Ghost told me he was going to take care of me. So Tommy basically is a loose cannon. He's going around telling everybody he can get them product. Lobos has survived. He calls Tommy and was like, yo, I got cash flow problems. I'm going to go ahead and send you these drugs, but I still need for you to handle up on Ghost. I want him dead. In addition, we also learned in the end of the last season that the U.S. attorney uh, that is Angela's boss, um... His ass turns out he works for Lobos too. Effie, I have come to help you and save you. So, anyways, Angela is still on, has this hard on for going after the bad guys. And so she at first is trying to, um, she at first is trying to see if she can transfer to another department because she wants to lead a department. Um, but that ain't going to happen because uh, the dude, her boss, feels like he should keep her around in case he can get Lobos' case kicked. Um, so, this is just going to be one hot mess. So, she does go see Lobos in prison. He says all these very nasty, dirty things to her. Like, you're beautiful. Your mouth should always be full of cocks. I'm like, oh my God, he's so nasty. Um, and so anyway, Angela is undeterred and she is determined because she has to get in with them. Let's see what else happened. Uh, Tommy just stole all the money that him and Ghost had stashed away in case they need to get away last minute. And now he gonna hide them somewhere else so Ghost can't find them. I'm like, Ghost really don't care because he's too caught up in his club. Uh, let's see what else happened. Uh, hmm. Oh, shoot. I know. I was like, where are all my posts? Because I'm going off my Twitter notes. Um, Ghost goes looking for this chick that left that tarot card. Um, it was kind of weird because we were like, why is he at this apartment? Why is he trying to figure out dude's name and number and what, what the hell is going on? Well, come to find out when they go back and look at security footage, they find out this girl, mysterious woman, comes in and leaves that bloody card, which I guess is the bloody card from Lobos. And so uh, when Ghost finally does get in into what I assume is her apartment, we find out uh, somebody already beat him to the punch, so she dead to bed. Uh, they never showed the body. Um, Ghost, soon to be ex wife, is in shambles because her good good has gone. Uh, Sean dead to bed. She had to identify the body last season, and her kids are all messed up because they loved Uncle Sean. He was like a big brother to them. And so she told Ghost, we need to sit down and talk to the kids. And then her, the daughter is there. She's like, Daddy, when are you coming home? We want you to come home, Daddy. 
and daddy like i ain't coming home because i done moved on to a senorita that has put it on me so good i forgot that i had a family hill i practically forgot y'all with my kids um uh, no nah, i'm just playing ghost loves his kids uh but it's just really really sad that you know the kids are suffering from this but i understand because ghost wants out of the game and his wife just doesn't seem to get it that we can't do this shit. You don't know any old dope dealers. We need to get out this shit. So, uh, let's see. What else? Uh, Tommy running around killing folk. He ain't got no business showing his face. Julio done ran the ghost and told him, you know, you told me you were going to take care of me and set my family up. Don't nobody know where the other family is. What was the name of that family? I can't think of it. But anyways, the Latino end of the brand for uh, Ghost Them. He done disappeared off the scene. Let's see. What else? Um, in the end, um, Holly is missing. Um, the puppy is dead. I thought that was so cold-blooded. I was like, who killed the puppy? Why y'all got to kill the puppy, 50 Cent? Why y'all had to kill the puppy, Tommy's dog? That was just wrong. That was wrong. I was so hurt. Um, also, we find out that, um, let's see, what else happened? Oh, I think his name is Alex, the one that used to be Angela's boyfriend, whom she turned on so she could save Ghost, who was on suspension from his job. He's stalking Cantos in the club. And I'm wondering if he has gotten to the point of crazy to where he stalked Tommy, killed the puppy, and took Holly. I'm just wondering that, too. That's speculation. Now, the entire episode, as I said earlier, James said Patrick has been telling people, Ghost is dead. Está muerto. Ghost está muerto. However, the final lines in this episode was... Tommy, we need to talk. This is Ghost. And I was like, ooh, I bet Ghost lives. This will be interesting. Anyway, stay tuned. I will do another review next week as Power is one of my favorites. I'm hoping to be able to comment at the end of these videos about Ballers and Survivor's Remorse as those are two of my favorite 30 minute shows on cable. Anyways, this has been Miss Sophia the Diva. I hope that you like this video. If you do, please be sure to comment down below, like it as well as subscribe if this is your first time visiting my channel. Good night.